Hello my loves, how are you doing today? I hope that you're good, that your family and your loved ones are healthy, happy and safe. So I'm coming back to you today with another pick a card reading. And in this reading you have three options to choose from. You can pick one option or more. The ones that are going to be drawing your attention the most. And of course if you would need more time, you can just pause the video, meditate on those options and see which one or which ones are going to be today yours to watch. As for me, I'm gonna start right away with the first option. Hello, my dear option number one. So if you have chosen the first option or this deck, welcome guys to your reading. So let's look into how people secretly perceive you. How do people secretly perceive you? The high priestess, oh my goodness. I feel like people secretly perceive you that you have a lot beneath the surface or that you are doing something behind other people's back or there is some sort of, yeah, some sort of um, I'm having activity that you are doing behind people's uh, or beneath the surface that might be even mystical so for some of you, you could be really really into spirituality and this is not something that you share with other people you could be into rituals you could be into self-improvement that has a lot of connection with energy with um, I'm hearing shape shifting as well you are you have a very potent energy that uh, people might not be able to explain but they are very much aware of that it's almost like their instinct can pick up on something that is beyond their understanding or comprehension and uh, but uh, they cannot pinpoint like what what exactly they, they cannot understand what what is it about you that uh, is um, that they're not able like to pinpoint. Uh, I also feel like when it comes to uh, drawing in towards you uh, certain opportunities or certain, I'm hearing even people, people might have this uh, idea that you might be lucky or that you might land on opportunities uh, out of uh, nowhere or that there is something quite unknown and quite, um, I'm hearing, uh, inexplicable in terms of how you can get to the things that you get or how you can draw the people that you draw towards yourself. I also feel like there is a little bit of um, comparing themselves to you, like some people, very, very few. It could be even like one person that compares themselves to you. And maybe this person, they do like anything and everything to uh, get attention or to uh, get uh, the uh, I'm hearing to be looked at by uh, people that they are interested in but uh, they really feel like when it comes to you it's not something that you even think about it's just something that happens and I really feel like for some of you maybe in some place with, that you frequent maybe they some people have had certain uh, conversations about you when it comes to you being uh, magnetic being attractive and uh, there is like one specific person that were like uh what is it about this person? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get the hype. I don't get like what is going on. They're low key being a little bit of a hater, but it's just that uh, they are very much into the practicalities of things and they do not understand at all anything about like energy or anything of the sort. That's why when they see someone that can uh, utilize other things than would just what we see or the things that are material they feel like like what am i missing like i'm doing everything uh, in like everything possible for me to have like the eyes of the people that i'm interested in or just generally be like be attractive by this but this person they're like just standing there not doing anything and everyone is looking at them like what is going on and some people really might feel that there is something really that, again, like uh, that they cannot uh, comprehend. <laughs> the fool. Like, you don't have a care in the world. You don't care. Yeah. You know, sometimes, <laughs> this is funny actually, the three of wands, yeah. You are a person with a vision. You're not someone that shares this vision but someone that actually creates exactly what you set your mind on. I really feel like you might have suffered in the past 
when it comes to people not believing in you or people feeling that you are delusional or feeling that you are reaching way beyond what you can get. And I feel like effortlessly and just by you focusing on your own and focusing on the things that matter to you, you have already created a lot and you are still creating and people are just like, what is going on? Why? How? how like this is how like this is what i keep hearing over and over again in my in my mind the second thing is that you are someone that is the child of i'm hearing a child of the universe you you don't take things too hard you don't take things too seriously uh, i really feel like people might be really into the grind and into like hustling and stuff that's why i really feel like at the beginning I already told you that some people might perceive you as someone that is lucky or someone that uh, you just land randomly on certain things that people might not even dream about having. But when it comes to you, it just happens. But what they don't know is that, uh, first of all, I don't know if you are a tower reader or you can let me know down below if you dabble really into spirituality and into energy manipulation. But I really feel like you are uh, getting really, really good at it. And you are going to get even better. All right. So <laughs> what do people think about you secretly? Opposition. Yeah, I really feel like you are very easy to underestimate. And my dears, this is something very, very, very good. Please thank the gods, thank, thank the universe that you are underestimated. Because you know, when people, especially people that are a little bit, uh, I'm hearing hopeless or very pessimistic about life, when they see that someone is going places, some people, they start sabotaging, <laughs> all right? But when it comes to you, you're pretty much safe when it, from that because people, people tend to, tend to um, not see your full potential until you get there and they're like wow how what is going on how did you get there how did you actually achieve that and I really feel like there are a lot of people also that respect you that uh, put you definitely on a pedestal and that almost try to mimic you but they can't um, it's almost like trying to be another person that you're, you're not because you are your true authentic self, especially right now as you are watching this reading. I really feel like you have worked a lot and worked hard on yourself and your own uh, magnetic capabilities. And I really feel like when it comes to other people, at some point they really might uh, like come towards you and ask you like directly, how did you do that? Uh, I really want to do that as well. Uh, can you give me advice? Can you give me this and that? But I really feel like uh, when it comes to you, uh, you might not even uh, reveal uh, how things might have unfolded for you fully because I really feel like there are certain things that people might not be even able to um, believe because they're going to be too synchronistic and uh, too out of this world. Uh, and I really feel like when it comes to you, again, people see you as someone that is a high achiever, very ambitious. Uh, especially when you're going to be actually reaching some sort of a level that I'm hearing there is no going back. So I really feel like it could be that you might have a deal that might uh, give you a lot of, um, uh, I'm hearing a bonus or winning some sort of, uh, if you are in like some sort of a court case or some sort of a disagreement, you might win something that maybe not a lot of people are going to be aware of or you might get some sort of a source of income that uh, people might not even know how uh, you you got it or by which means you are very secretive this is something that is very clear and uh, your enigma and your mystery definitely uh, put people on their toes let's get one more yeah you see things and you almost like if you feel that there is something that um, I'm having ignites you, you're a very excitable person, like uh, especially in here with this number 30, 
uh, I really feel like when it comes to you, you might dabble in a lot of different things. You might have side hustles. You might have uh, certain things that maybe nobody knows about. All right. Uh, it says in here, fire, illumination, inspiration, devotion, devouring passion. I really feel like you are very attractive. And please, for those of you, because I feel like for some of you, you might still have those kind of uh, beliefs that are absolutely incorrect. Your magnetism ha has nothing to do with how you look. And that's why you are such an enigma to a lot of people that are around you, because they're too much into the mathematics of attraction and of beauty. But you are beautiful, you are attractive. Uh, the only person that might doubt that is yourself, because everyone around you, it's something that is completely undeniable. All right, let's get some more cards. Intuition, oh my goodness, you could be a witches, white witches more specifically. Uh, listen to the whispers of your heart, use divination tools to help you decide, trust your intuition no matter what. So yeah, you could be into <laughs> uh, tower readings uh, using divination tools, uh, but you use it to your own benefit without wanting or maybe reaching for harm. Uh, to anybody in any way or shape or form that's why i really feel like the energy around you is very pure is very white and also light in terms of how you can pull things uh, towards you so i really feel like when it comes to you you focus on what you want not because you don't want someone else to have it but it's just your own desire and you are reaching towards your own desires all right so that was very interesting <laughs> That's what you're reading with the option number one. If you would like your own private reading, you can book it directly through the website that I share in the description box. Let me know down below how the messages resonated with you. I'm sending you lots of love and I will connect with you next time. Bye. Hello, my dear option number two. So if you have chosen the second option or this deck, welcome guys to the reading. So let's look into how do people perceive you secretly? How do people perceive you secretly? Okay magician we have some powerful powerful energies today that's for sure the magician how do people perceive you oh my goodness someone or some people they have a crush on you and you have no idea there might be certain like gossip around you about a specific person here represented by the king of swords again you have no idea i really feel like uh, people first of all they compliment you behind your back this is something that i saw very clearly the judgment card at the uh, yeah this is also the card of gossip so you have quite a bit of gossip uh, behind you this is not really something that is uh, i really feel like this five of swords it's more so about this uh, person that is wanting to be with you and you have no idea that they are interested towards you but there is a lot of talk about them maybe doing certain things and you're not being aware of what they're doing or how they're uh, like when they stand maybe they touch their hair like a lot of people they can pick up on certain gestures that you are not really aware of or that you don't pay attention to the second thing that i see in here is that you're someone that is uh, i'm having uh, anti-drama <laughs> I really feel like a lot of people maybe that are too dramatic they just they don't i mean they don't bother with you or they don't want to be around you they feel like you might be boring you might not be interesting because to them what's interesting is drama is fights it's like those people really they don't really uh, focus on you at all they might not really want to be around you because for them they want to, when they get together they want to trash talk other people they want to um hearing belittle others those people really they uh, they are going to be getting a very uh, uh, i'm hearing a very strong wake-up call in their life because i feel like they cannot continue with their ways for long uh, but this is really the only thing that is negative not negative to you but negative to them basically into the people that they can they keep uh, in their talks but when it comes to you they see you as someone that is maybe not interesting or which is perfectly fine <laughs> like nobody wants those people around them so uh, anything else please when it comes to 
how people perceive you. They see you as someone that is not very talkative or you don't really talk about the things that matter. I feel like there are certain people really that know, know you a lot and people that you connect with uh, like on a deep level, but this is not something that you open up to, uh, to everybody. Uh, a lot of people can pick up uh, on the fact that you are a very discreet and a very reserved and extremely selective in terms of maybe your close friends or maybe the people that you truly trust or that you are loyal to. Uh, uh, other people that don't fit in this category, they feel like they're almost blocks or uh, they know like this very jovial, very, uh, I'm hearing a happy go lucky and also very respectful and gentle uh, energy, but they don't know anything as an example about your background, about your family, about what you do on the weekends, about uh, who you are friends with. They don't really know much about you. They just, they just know like the generalities basically. And there are some people are quite curious about like why is it the case that it could be like your coworkers? If you are not someone that talks about your private matters, your coworkers, this is brilliant. Actually, <laughs> there are certain things about you that it's uh, better for you to keep to yourself. But let's get some more cards. What do people think about you secretly? past lives yeah they don't they don't know anything about your past that's what i'm seeing release your past life karma you are and also with deep wisdom healing your past uh, lives ah he healing your past lives will raise your vibration i really feel like some people might see you as someone that uh, has risen from the dust or maybe you've had certain unwanted events in the past and you have uh, successfully letting go of them or risen from uh, past disappointments. Uh, I also feel like some people, they might, even if they don't know it uh, exactly, if they don't know exactly what happened, they might have this intuitive hint that maybe you have been through some hardships and you have worked through them to get to where you are right now. Miracles have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. With this miracles, I really feel like a lot of people might see you, especially with this unicorn, as, as someone that is one of a kind, and someone also with great sense of. Uh, I'm hearing reading the room. You're someone that, as an example, if someone is sad, if someone you can pick up on other people's uh, like. Um, uh, how they are or maybe uh, you're someone that you know how to um, soothe uh, someone's uh, like emotions uh, you could like a lot of people might see you if you are a woman of course might see you as someone that could be a great mother or you are very motherly to people that are around you because you're someone really that uh, you know how to uh, I'm hearing bring up the vibration of people that are in the room you you have a very light energy and you are capable to establish and invite positiveness in any sorts of social gathering contemplation number 20 if you have been through a breakup a lot of people might perceive you as someone that is uh, healing or someone that is successfully letting go of someone that was really not good for you. Some people are very uh, I'm hearing happy about that. They're happy that uh, certain things uh, did not work for you, not that they didn't work out of malice. This is not what I see, but they're happy because I feel like uh, some people, they perceive that you deserved better. You deserve better than something. It could be like uh, maybe a work environment that wasn't good for you, or it could be like an actual partner or just a group of people that were not good for you. And right now you are hitting from uh, maybe a B and B with them, like in this environment or with a specific person and you are doing a great job. Opposition. Yeah, I really feel like also you, uh, 
when it comes to how people perceive you, there is quite a bit of a contrast. Like if people really are close to you, they see you one way. But if someone is pretty much almost a stranger or just someone that you know, they see you in a very, very different light. Uh, you might be perceived as someone that is, um, I'm hearing almost like gullible or like from people that they don't really know you. And I really feel like when it comes to you, it is something again that is, um, uh, I'm hearing it's 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 not coming up as a, a bad thing because I really feel like uh, some people might perceive you as someone that needs protection or uh, like uh, maybe harsh words uh, might not be taken lightly by you. You're not someone really that uh, uses harsh words or you're not harsh. You're not a harsh person. You're not a crude person. And people that are very close to you, you might like swear with them. You might uh, be like... Uh, <laughs> Uh, great buddies with them and uh, they might perceive you in a very very different light <laughs> all right let's get some more cards gifts uncertainty i'm hearing some people might believe that you are going places or that there is uh, something about you that is um, a true gift from the universe. It could be that you are gifted maybe with something in particular about your body or about your mind. Or you're just like a gifted person, especially when it comes to your professional environment. I feel like some people might perceive you as someone that uh, is going places and it's going to be achieving uh, a high level when it comes to your career. Uh, and with this uncertainty, I really feel like especially certain people maybe that you are not that close to might perceive you as someone that might uh, quit or might go to another uh, field or you're just not someone really that relies just on what's in front of you. You're someone really with, um, I'm hearing you might, uh, this is how they feel. They're really much, uh, they're really not certain about it. They, it's just how they feel. They feel like you're someone that is smart, someone that is resourceful and someone that can make up, uh, like make a, a certain dream or a certain vision a reality for yourself. But they're very much uncertain about like how you can go about it or because again, you're pretty much uh, to a certain level uh, an enigma when it comes to the people that are not close to you, not to your friends, of course. Let's get one last card. Anything else, please, for my dear option number two. What is the thing that people think about you secretly? Magic. Again, we have miracles. We have magic. Make a wish. Believe in miracles. And magic surrounds you. Yeah, I really feel like you are definitely perceived as a happy or lucky person. And you're someone that uh, people, whether they like it or not, uh, they perceive that you deserve good things because you are a good person and people perceive you as a good person. Uh, some people might perceive you as someone, again, that might have been taken adv advantage of in the past, but you have learned from it and you are moving on. And a lot of people really are happy that uh, you have, uh, I'm hearing to stand uh, your grounds and that uh, you, um, have made a decision and a good decision for yourself. So there were certain people that were not good for you or a specific person or an environment that you have let them go of and people are pretty much happy that you have decided to do so. All right, so that was your reading, my dear option number two. If you would like your own private reading, you can book it directly through the website that I share in the description box. Let me know down below how the messages resonated with you. I'm sending you lots of love and I will connect with you next time. Bye. <laughs> Hello, my dear option number three. So if you have chosen the third option or this deck, welcome guys, you're reading. So let's look into how people perceive you secretly or what people think about you secretly. Let's see. Power in reverse. The whole deck is in reverse. Okay. Vision, three of wands. Nine of cups. I really feel like when it comes to you, <laughs> uh, people perceive you that you might have 
had some sort of a leg up or someone is sponsoring you or someone is giving you something to make a dream come true or to just allow yourself to really reach uh, a specific goal of yours uh, and they're not aware of who this person is specifically but this is like their immediate intuition of course this is coming out of their own insecurities and even if you have received help like we are human beings we are supposed to help each other this is not of like nobody's business basically but i really feel like when it comes to you people justify or find try to find justifications for some sort of success or an elevation that you have experienced in your life or that you are about to experience i'm hearing for some of you and this is something that they are thinking about and trying to rationalize in terms of uh, someone giving you something or allowing you to get something that they themselves couldn't get because they were not uh, offered the support that you got or they were not really in contact with the right people that would give them the support that you received so this is really just them uh, trying to almost ease their own wounds and try to make themselves better basically Dreams, yeah, page of cups and strength. I really feel like when it comes to you, it's very easy for people to believe in you. This is what I see. I feel like you have a certain effortless way of uh, projecting to the world that you are serious, that you are determined, that you are someone that is working hard towards your goals. And you're someone really that is, uh, I'm hearing there is no roundabouts and you are not willing to take shortcuts when it comes to the things that matter to you. I also feel like when it comes to other people around you, they see you as someone that is very much health conscious and someone that is truly, even if you are not be behind like closed doors, but this is how people perceive you. They perceive that you are someone that take care of yourself, that take yourself very seriously. And someone that has a str strong mind and a strong body. The second thing that I see in here is that you are someone that is very, uh, I'm hearing diplomatic, and also someone that is not, uh, you, when you say something, you say it with purpose. You're not someone that is very spontaneous in terms of how the, you try to explain something, or when you meet someone, you're not someone that is just saying anything and everything in silly things and things that uh, make no sense. I really feel like when it comes to you, people perceive you as someone that you talk with purpose and you talk with a great uh, vision on what you want to convey to other people. Let's see what, uh, yeah, we have here the page of wands, exploration. So you could be a foreigner in the place that you are in, or some people might perceive you as uh, uh, someone that might travel or might be offered like uh, an opportunity to go to another place. Maybe it's something that is already talked about behind the surface and you don't, you are not aware of that, but there is an opportunity for you to travel or maybe to go to another place or to just reallocate. Uh, I'm hearing uh, overseas or this is quite a bit of, um, there is quite a bit of a distance between where you are right now and the place that you're going to be in. So for those of you that are already planning for that, there are already like talks about it happening or some people might have already received the message or maybe the information that you are going away or maybe you have already told that to some people. Yeah. Okay, all the, the, the options, they got this message, opposition. Uh, because I really feel like there is not just one way that people perceive us, and this is something that is, uh, of course, very normal. But when it comes to you very specifically, I feel like uh, there is great uh, indication about high levels of discipline or you really take yourself seriously. You're someone that uh, when you stand, when you talk, when you, uh, even when it comes to your gestures, maybe you talk with your hands, 
uh, you explain yourself in a very eloquent way and other people really when you stand they ha have no chance other than to listen to you and to take you very seriously all right let's get some more cards also i'm hearing that you are a family person or someone that is very much cared of or uh, a lot of people want to care for uh, for you or for the things that's married to you people want to be part of your story i'm hearing miracles intention be clear decisive focus on what you really want be bold with your requests to the universe i really feel like when it comes to you if you want something you don't second guess yourself you just go to the person that might have the information or might have the capability to uh, like uh, advise you or to give you the help or to give you the um the information that you might need you go to them directly you don't second guess yourself basically you're someone that again uh, you have a certain level of boldness that is very much um, I'm hearing it's coupled with uh, like a great level of uh, self-expression and also uh, elegant and very uh, respectful communication uh, with these miracles I also feel like a lot of people might perceive you as very very ambitious uh, I'm hearing for better or for worse some people might see it as over ambition some people might see it as uh, you are exactly the person uh, that should acquire the things that you are looking for and working hard for but it's it's gonna really depend on the person but what I see in here that one one thing that is very strongly in here you are someone that takes calculated risks this is something that most people perceive and someone that you are not afraid from following your uh, uh, intuitive hints and going for the things that you want i really feel like when it comes to you again if you are in as an example um professional meeting you take the initiative you ask questions you are very much participating in what is going on around you and professionally speaking you are looking in here as someone that is uh, going places and someone that is definitely going to advance and people are going to be behind you uh, giving you the nudge that you need and giving you the right information that you might need at any point all right how do people perceive you secretly please we have so much fun gifts I'm hearing if you have never thought about this this is something that uh, might be even like suggested in this reading you have great people skills absolutely you are a great communicator if you have the possibility to be a manager to be a planner to be a team leader this is something that is very much advisable for you in here or anything that has a connection with bringing people together establishing harmony within the workplace and also allowing uh, all the team to work towards a specific and common goal i really feel like this is something that comes almost effortless to you this is something that uh, i'm hearing is just uh, you are this is uh, very natural to you that's why i really feel like if you could capitalize on this skill and talent that you have it's something that is really going to be advancing you rapidly and strongly when it comes to your career the second thing that i see in here again that there is great emphasis on you going places like physically and uh, don't allow uh, maybe the fear of the unknown because with this exploration card that came uh, at the bottom of the deck when we explore we are kind of hesitant allow the hesitation and maybe the fear a little bit to be there allow it to be there is very normal but don't allow it to say no don't make it uh, the reason why you're going to say no to certain opportunities that, that are really going to be uh, maybe life-changing for you 
allow yourself to go out there and make your dream ha your dreams happen all right so that was your reading my dear option number three if you would like your own private reading you can book it directly through the website that i share in the description box let me know down below how the messages resonated with you i'm sending you lots of love and i will connect with you next time bye